Welcome back. In the previous part, we finished off episode 2, Reunion and Turnabout. It's time for us to jump into episode 3, Turnabout Big Top. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the show. Prepare to witness a man who has mastered the wonder of flight. No? Oh. The world's greatest magician. The one, the only. Maximilian Galactica. No? Oh, oh my. How's he doing this? This is impossible. Is he gonna fall out of the sky and die? Alright then. How did he do that? December 26, 8.12 p.m. Very big circus. Circus entrance. Wow! That was like being in a dream. I haven't even caught my breath yet. <laughs> that was amazing, wasn't it, Burley? It was great! There was a dancing bear. Ooh. And a tiger that jumped through a ring of fire. An elephant that rode on a giant ball. Not to mention that guy who flew through the air. Yeah, Max Galactica. He was absolutely fabulous. Huh. What, Max? Max Galactica. The world's greatest magician. A magician. No, uh, 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 it was like magician. Uh, how should we say that? It just it just hurts my head. Uh, no, a magician. Um, Mr. Nick. Huh? What is it, pearls? Does magic have anything to do with channeling spirits? I don't think it has anything to do with channeling. You don't know about magic, do you, pearls? I'm sorry. I'll explain it to her then. I braved the winter cold and took pearls to see the circus. It's been six months since that terrible incident in the Korean village. And it was during that trying time that I met pearls. Thankfully, she seems to be recovering from it and is returning to her normal self. Ah, it's time to go. You're right. We can't miss the last train. Pearls, you remembered the train! Of course I did. But I don't really understand what everyone means by express train. Well, Nick, see you later. I'll come by to help clean the office. It's got to be spotless for the new year. Don't worry about it, really. You are going to visit Mr. Nick on New Year's? Maybe. I am glad you will get to spend your New Year's with your special someone. Pearly! Look, it, it's time to go. Happy New Year, Mr. Nick. Happy New Year. I really hope it will turn out that way. It won't. December 28th, 9.12am, Wright and Co. Law Offices. Well, today wraps it up for this year. Now I can finish cleaning this place up in one day. So many dots. Beep. Hello. Nick, it's terrible. Uh, Maya, perfect timing. Things are terrible here too. Huh? The office is in a terrible mess and I have to clean it up. What are you talking about? Um, my dirty office. What are you talking about? Listen, Nick, you have to turn on the TV. The TV? Now let's check in at the scene. Uh huh. What happened? Thank you. We're here at the Berry Big Circus. The Berry Big Circus has become the center of a sensational murder. Now oh, is Max Galactica dead? The scene has created quite a stir among the throngs of excited onlookers. The very. I mean, the Berry Big Circus. 
That's the circus we went to, right? They're saying that there was a... Moider. Yeah. They arrested him, too. A arrested who? Max. Oh. They arrested Max Galactica. Maximilian Galactica. Fans call him Max. A popular magician who can fly through the sky at will. Maya said she was a huge fan of Max. Alright, Nick. I'll see you in two hours at the detention center. Huh? What? See you there. Still got plenty of time to clean up your office later. What? I... I mean... Charlie. Quite decorative plant. I don't mind his help cleaning this place up. Poster of the newest member of the Steel Samurai universe. Maya went out and bought it right away. He's a sucker for all things Steel Samurai. I hear they're even giving the new guy his own movie. I just know Maya is going to drag me out to see it with her. Difficult looking legal books stand in a formidable row. They mock me. I don't mind dumping some of these off at the used bookstore. But that might not be such a good idea. My desk. Since I don't have time to sit, it's unusually clean. There is a giant building just outside the window. It's the Gate Water Hotel. A high-class luxury hotel. Until recently, it had been a normal business class hotel. Well, we knew that, but I think that's it in here, isn't it? All right. Let's move to the detention center. December 28th. 11.19 a.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. What are they talking about? Why did they arrest Max? They're asking the wrong man on that one, Maya. Maybe he used his magical skills to deal death with a sleight of hand. Maximilian Galactica would never do such a thing. Fabulous. What the young lady just said was absolutely fabulous. What a clever girl. Such a fabulous understanding of events. What's with all this fabulous talk? Oh my. Welcome to the visitor's room. It's Max, Nick. And look, it's the real Max Minning Galactica. All right, sweetie, pick a card, any card. He called me sweetie. Oh, Nick. Ah, <laughs> time's running out, sweetie. Pick a card, any card. This one. Uh-huh. I thought you would pick that one, sweetie. The Ace of Hearts. Ah, oh, he got it, he got it! Nick, look, he got it! What can I say, sweetie? You've stolen one of my most valued possessions. One of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Max, oh! Well... Time to make this an absolutely fabulous time. Max, you, you should let Nick pick a card. Uh, I don't want to steal one of his hearts. And you are... Oh, how silly of me. You must be Sweetie's driver. Her... driver. Whatever, hurry up and pick a card. Any card. Um, I want this one. So, Sweetie, let's be honest here. You came to this visitor's room to visit me, didn't you? Yes, I'm your biggest fan. Fabulous, absolutely fabulous. Thank you so much. Hey, um, what about my uh, card? Think of it as a souvenir. Well, Nick, I think it's time to get to work. What's the matter, Nick? Why are you looking at the ceiling? I was just thinking about what I should have for lunch. Sweetie, drop Porcupine Head over there. Shower me with your attention, okay? Oh, yes. Absolutely fabulous. Absolutely cringe inducing. Let's give him a talking to. Max, I was hoping you could tell me a little bit more about yourself. Fabulous. I think we should get to know each other better, too. Why don't you come sit next to me? 
Um, there's a big piece of security glass between us. Oh, sweet Jeebus. What in the world? If only I could use magic. Then I could make this wall disappear. What is this guy talking about? Anyways, l lately, you've become awfully famous, haven't you, Max? That's Maximilian to you, porcupine head. Get it straight. Jeez, people nowadays. They get their panties on in a bunch over nothing. Anyway, Maximilian, you won a very prestigious award recently, did you not? I did indeed. It was fabulous. I won the Magician's Grand Prix, held by the Association of International Magicians. It's an award that recognizes that I am the most fabuloso of fabulous world magicians. There was a trophy and a bust. It was a fab... I mean, it was an amazing day. Wow, that's incredible. Isn't it? I'm certifiably the greatest magician in the world. I'm going to guess he didn't win a trophy for most modest magician. No, Benny Big Circus. You are signed to an exclusive contract with the, uh, Benny Big Circus, correct? That's the long and short of it. You sure do your research, sweetie. I'm impressed. Just can't watch a magician on TV, you know. Magic is so fabulous. You have to see it with your own eyes, sweetie. You're right. You're so right. However, the circus, it's a dinosaur and a thing of the past. Nowadays, no one even cares about what goes on there. Huh? What do you mean? That's why I signed the contract. That's why you signed the contract. Thanks to me, the Berry Big Circus is fabulously popular. People come out in droves to catch a glimpse of the magic of Max Galactica. I revived the dinosaur that is the circus. But to me, it was just another magic trick. Isn't it just wonderful, sweetie? Y yes. I made all the old crusty circus performances obsolete. But I kind of like the circus performances. Maya looks a bit down. Hmm, alright, what happened then? Tell me what happened at the Benny Big Circus. Ah, last night, the ringmaster was moided. The ringmaster? You mean Russell Berry? Someone smashed him over the head, I hear. He was slumped over on the ground. Even though it was the middle of the night, the police presence was fabulous. The police questioned me at length. Questioned you about what? Out of everything. I was the last one to see the ringmaster before he was murdered. I saw him last evening in his room. So then why were you arrested? Arrested? Don't make an anthill into a mountain, sweetie. They just wanted to consult with me on matters, that's all. Nick? I don't think Max understands how serious this is. She's right. I think I should shock him back to reality. Meeting with Russell. For the murder, you met with the ringmaster. Uh-huh. What did you talk about? Things that aren't for your ears. Maya, would you please ask him? What did you talk about with the ringmaster, Max? It was nothing small talk, really. We were just having a chat about my salary. Salary? I am the one bringing in the crowds. I think that I should be compensated as such. You agree, don't you? Yes. That's all you talked about. Of course. It was a fabulous chat. Hmm. Hmm. Just fabulous. I mean, ah! Uh, now he's got me saying it. What's the matter, Nick? You look all bent out of shape. Hmm. So, what? Do I go back? See you later? What? 
Examine stuff in here then, I guess? Smile, you're on candid camera. Max keeps sneaking glances up at the security camera on the wall. I wonder if he's still trying to be a star. Lights, the door. This guard monitors the visitor's room. He's so quiet, you, you could forget he was even there. If he wasn't watching everything. He's pushed up against the wall. Kind of like a magnet on a refrigerator. Like that's it, really. What can we present then? We've only got these two things. It's like... I, we haven't got any evidence beyond... We haven't got any evidence! Profiles? We've only got these two, so it's like, well, we'll give it a go. Do you mind taking a look at this? I guess I have no choice, but really, is this the proper time or place for this? He signed his own photo. Nick, do you mind giving that to me when the case is over? Oh dear. So, would you like to come up on stage with me sometime? <laughs> really? Is that really okay? I'll bring you up on stage as a volunteer from the audience. Really? I'll give you something before the show, and then on stage you'll sneak it to me. Wait a second. He's planting her in the audience to rig a magic trick. That's how most of these things work. It's gotta be the attorney's badge again, isn't it? What is that badge? It is used in a disappearing act? I'm not a magician, Max. I'm an attorney. An attorney? Then why are you wasting your time talking to me? He isn't wasting his time. Max, you're... Okay, okay, relax, sweetie. You're just a little over-anxious, I think. Whimper. Anyways, I've been curious about something for a while now. What's that? Why do you keep looking at me with such a sad look on your face, sweetie? Because you've been arrested. For Moida. Oh, don't be ignorant. They wouldn't arrest someone like me. Why is that? Obviously because I'm the fabulous Maximilian Galactica. So? I'm the very big star of the very big circus. And that means... I'm rich. I'm paid fabulous sums. Which means what? Max. Quit joking around. You've got to be pulling my magic wand. The police aren't really serious about all this, are they? They don't arrest people as a joke. Look at Max. He's crushed. Well, he needed to wake up and smell the coffee. Ugh. This is serious business. Um, um... Yes? Book... I mean... So, you are a lawyer, right? Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm an attorney. Please, help me! I didn't kill anybody! D didn't kill nobody? I may be more spoiled than a hog in a hamburger mud pit, but a killer? That's insane! I... I, I could never! M Max? I swear! I just wanted to pay off my daddy's debt. He's back on the farm. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll take your case. Really? Really? Uh, uh, thank you much. You're all sure nice folks. Um, Max. Yes? What's your real name? It's Billy Bob Johns. Well. What's the matter, Maya? He's really just a country bumpkin. And? Ahem. I must apologize for not being my absolutely fabulous self just now, sweetie. Uh-huh. Mr. Attorney. Yes? A few minutes ago, you took one of my cards, didn't you? Um, now that he mentions it, I did take a card. It was the Ten of Hearts, right? What? How did he... He got it right again! What can I say? You too. You've stolen some of my most valued possessions. Ten of Maximilian Galactica's hearts. Sure do have a lot of hearts, don't you? 
<laughs> I'm putting my faith in you, sweetie. He didn't just call me sweetie, did he? Alright, let's make this an absolutely fabulous case. Come on, Nick. Okay. Back to the office. Oh. There we go. December 28th. Betty Big Circus. Circus entrance. We're here again. Yep. This time, we are here for work. It hasn't been that long since the crime, so the police are still on the scene. Let's find someone who might know something about what happened. Sounds like a plan. Let's have a little examine. Look! Look! It's Max! Even when you don't want to see him, poof! He's right in front of you. Sure, the sign says Betty Big Circus, but looking around, it might as well be Cirque du Galactic. The stars on his cheek sure are dreamy. How about I draw a star on your cheek, Nick? I've got a marker. N nah, nah, it, it, it's all right. Oh dear, oh dear, she's properly. What's the best way of putting it? Swooning? Those streamers do a nice job introducing the circus performers. There's some streamers here? What, from Twitch? Maximilian Galactica and his comical comrades. You know, you don't really see too many streamers nowadays, do you? I've seen loads on Twitch. I mean, some on YouTube, but I don't know why you're bringing this up, but alright. You're right. I haven't seen one in ages. I bet they stopped using them due to little kids climbing up to the top. Um, I don't think that was why. Wait, kids did that? Like, the actual streamers, that is not... Well, that has different connotations. Very big circus. Hmm. This door must lead to the lodging house. No entry to unauthorized personnel. Do you really need to say no entry if no one's actually entering? It's almost like a zen riddle, isn't it, Nick? I'm not even going to justify that question with a response. Then all of the stars stay at that lodging house. This is the box office, where they sell all the tickets for the circus. They also sell programs. We got to buy one when we came to the circus last time. But then why don't you buy one now? Hmm. Sounds like a plan. Oh no. Looks like I forgot my wallet. Don't you look at me with those eyes. You want me to buy it for you, you just ask me already. You know I'd never do that to you, Nick. Just buy one. Just buy one, mate. Nick, the entrance is right there. My uh, circus is closed today. No clowns, no elephants, no shows. I know that. Nick, you can get your picture taken with Dolly the elephant. There's no Dolly. Not today. I know that too. Oh, well, huh? Just have to take a picture with whoever I stumble across. Uh, it's not like we're here on business or anything. No, no, no. It's a snack stand. We have hot dogs, hamburgers, and drinks. Not to mention. Candy and popcorn. Oh, they've, e they've even got snow cones. Who would eat snow cones in the middle of winter? I would. Nick, do you think we could buy some snow cones? Look around. There's tons of snow piled up all around here. Yay. Wait a sec. There's no syrup, though. I want syrup. Hopefully she doesn't notice the discolored snow in the corner. That's not set up. Oh dear. The very big top is so very bit <clears throat> enormous. Yep. One look at the huge tent looming over you and you realize this is the circus. I know. I know. It really gets your blood pumping, doesn't it? Not really. Okay, let's move into the lodging house plaza. December 28th, Lodging House Plaza. Seems to be a dorm where all the performers in the circus stay. Really? So we might run into that stoogy clown here, right? He's so kooky. Ah, it's you two. Oh, hello. Oh, Detective Gumshoe. 
I don't think you guys always seem to know when I'm working a crime scene, pal. Because you're always working, Detective. Well, I'd rather not be always working, but with crime, you don't make your own hours. If I have to be at the circus anyway, I want to see the lion tamer and the tightrope. However, no matter where I go, the show is always the same. Dead body, stage left. Nick, Nick, he complained. <laughs> That's a rarity. Let's get back to business now, okay? Tomorrow's trial. Do you know who will be the prosecutor in court tomorrow? Of course. It will be Miss Von Karma. Uh, she isn't going to hit me with her whip again, is she? What do you have to worry about? You only have to see her in court. When she shows up at the precinct, the sound of that whip never ends, pal. Detective Gumshoe. I'm sure Miss Von Karma's really interesting and all, but there's someone else I'd rather talk about. Like who? Like Mr. Edgeworth, of course. You know, Nick's true rival, Miles Edgeworth? When the world happened after I went back home? Mr. Edgeworth, you haven't heard what happened to him. Nick won't tell me. Well, uh, to be honest, I'm not at liberty to tell you either. Let's just say he's not around anymore. He's not around? Nick, what does he mean Mr. Edgeworth isn't around? Exactly what he said. He's not around. Edgeworth is gone. Don't say his name again, okay? Nick? What happened? The ringmaster of the circus was murdered, wasn't he? Yep, last night around 10pm. Died outside in the cold, a pretty sad way to go if you ask me, pal. It was rather cold. This is the scene of the crime, pal. The body was found right over there. Right about where you are standing now. <laughs> Surprised you, didn't I? I'm not laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me... Stop laughing. Excuse me, but do you mind telling me what happened to the victim? He was killed by a blow to the noggin, pal. Yep. It was pretty clear cut as far as murders go. It was discovered quickly. But... But... There's just one thing that doesn't quite fit. Huh. There always seems to be something that doesn't quite fit. Something unusual? What was this one thing that just didn't quite fit? Thing you mentioned earlier. Footprints, pal. Footprints. Footprints. Look at this picture of the crime scene. What's this? Uh, this wooden box under the body. That's what I was thinking, Phoenix. No clue, pal. Some forensic experts took it back and are examining it now. It's going to be important. And, and uh, what is so mysterious about the footprints? Mm, calm down now. Take a good look at the footprints in this picture. Okay. Victim's footprints are on the scene. That's right, pal. Problem is... Killer's footprints aren't there. Bingo. Where did the killer come from? And where did the killer run off to? If only they could fly! Oh my god! Obviously, there is no way the killer committed this crime with, while flying. A flying culprit. That's when something just clicked in my head. Yeah, but how is he flying? There's no way. Flying is impossible. That's right. Flying is impossible. Absolutely impossible. <laughs> What's with the hollow laugh, pal? I meant nothing by it, pal. Better stated, it means I don't want to talk about it. Maybe I can get some info about Max out of him. Ooh. Crime photo added to the court record. Okay. Hmm. Let's move on to another area then. Um, actually, let's move back. Because I haven't examined the area, have I? Okay. 
This year, I finally won an air conditioner. What? You didn't have an air conditioner? Did you ride your Triceratops to work too? What do you mean, you won an air conditioner? You didn't buy it? Can't afford one of those things. I got lucky and won it as a door prize at the annual police Christmas party. They really pay you peanuts, don't they? Peanuts. I don't even get paid enough for peanut butter, let alone peanuts. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Nothing else? There's some evidence under the tarp over there. Hey, watch it, pal. The killer is behind that tarp. Ah! <laughs> gotcha. I was just kidding. <laughs> what? Why, Gumshoe? Why? This is the only place that the snow has been trounced upon. The murderer was sloppy, leaving all these prints all over. No, 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 no. We're the ones who left the prints. An investigation can be a messy thing sometimes. What? I also slipped and fell in that spot over there. The other detectives all got a good laugh when the prosecutor whipped me. Thank God there was all this snow around to bring down the swelling. It's great to know that the police aren't worried about preserving the evidence. Yeah, what happens in that case, like, in real life? Like, what happens with a snowy scene like this? The safety lights around the circus are kept on at n all night. So they should have been on at the time of the murder. So he's saying the murder took place in the light. Strange. Not strange indeed. Hmm. I feel this is significant, because I'm thinking, like... The flying aspect would involve wires, no doubt, and there should be some place above this location where you could attach wires, and it's like, this pole, I feel, will be significant. Let's move, then, unless something else came up there. Nope. Let's move, circus entrance, and move over to the big top. December 28th. Very big circus. Big top. The circus stage sure doesn't look this small from out in the audience. Wow, this is where they all perform, isn't it? Nick, do some somersaults. I'm not doing any somersaults. Why not? You look like you'd be great at it. Why do I look like I'd be great at somersaults? <laughs> huh? Nick? It wasn't me. Growl and such. Tiger! He's coming this way! Grr and such. And then they died. Nick! You're too young to die! Nick! Stay, stay, heal. Grr. I'm still here. I'm not dead yet. Nick! Nick, are you okay? <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? Scared myself. Oh my. Regent is such a cute tiger, isn't he? And what's the matter? You two sure are quiet. Don't what's the matter me? Nick, you almost died there. Huh. He wasn't anywhere close to getting hurt, let alone dying. This little tiger hardly ever bites people. And besides, people normally never get to play with a wild tiger, right? So if you think about it, you're actually really lucky. Huh? You agree, don't you? No. Oh. I guess? What do you mean, you guess? Why are you agreeing with her? Hmm. <laughs> Your costume. Huh? It's cute. I want to try it on. Costume? You mean my clothes? You don't mind letting me try it on, right? Uh, I guess not. <laughs> really? <laughs> You're the best. Wow. The... How the turntables quickly on that one. So, much for the tiger thing. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. 
I'm Regina Berry, the renowned animal tamer of the Berry Bank Circus. My name's Maya Fay. I'm a spirit medium. Phoenix Wright, attorney at law. When you put us up next to an animal tamer, but we really look odd. Nice to meet you. Uh, likewise. Stop bouncing. What happened? Hey, Regina. What do you know about what happened last night? You mean the murder? Uh-huh. My dad was murdered. Oh, I see. Wait. What did she just say? So the ringmaster was your... Yep, the ringmaster was my dad. I'm so sorry about what happened to him. I've just realized what's in this scene right now. Off to the left slightly. In the middle-ish. Why do you say you're sorry? Huh? Anyways. Everyone was practicing last night. Even your dad. Yes, everyone was here. We finished up around 10 p.m. After that, everyone went off on their own. I was the only one who stayed around here. Why did you do that? I was playing with Regent. Regent. She was with that beast. That's when the police showed up. Then they took me to check things out. Dad was dead. Someone whose father was just murdered. She seems awfully perky. She would tell us more about her dad. Regina. That's incredible that you're an animal tamer. If you say so. It has to be really scary. Scary? Why? Huh? Regent isn't scary. He's cute. Ever since Leon died, Regent has been my best friend. Leon? Yes, Leon the Lion. Leon the Lion, Regent and Regina. Interesting name choices. Leon, he died? Yes, actually he was killed. My dad killed him. What? Why did he do that? I'm not sure why he did it. It's tough not to get charmed when she looks at you with those innocent eyes. Okay. Ah, a ladder. It's just a step ladder. What's the difference? They do the same thing, right? I think you should stick with the basic facts of the matter. Oh, uh... Okay. It's not even worth arguing with her on this one. <laughs> just wanted to see again. Just wanted to see. Could have been different. Um, hmm. The seats are kind of far away, don't you think? They are, but it also means that lots of people can fit in the big top. He's right. We can fit 500 people into a show. 500? That's amazing. Flying around above that many people is a real rush. At least that's what Max said. Look, that's where Max comes out during the show. I've got to admit, that's a pretty cool effect. We're planning for me to start coming out of the lion during the show. That's great, Regina. Yeah, I will ride on Regent's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. I want to try too. I'll ride on Nick's back and jump out of the lion's mouth. Sometimes I wonder about this girl. Indeed. Whoa, those lights are huge. I love lights. Whenever I appear under the spotlight, everyone claps for me. That's because everyone knows that you're cute. No, I'm not cute. You're cute. Me? Of course. I'm sure you'd make an incredible heroine. Really? You think so? Nick, did you hear that? Me, a heroine. What about Nick, Regina? Hmm, Nick. He's no hero, is he? Ouch, thanks a lot, Maya. Looks a bit harsh here. Yeah? Okay, I don't see anything else going on around here. Oh, the rope, yeah. Hey, it's a rope! Probably for tightrope walking. It's a bit strange. There weren't any tightrope walkers in the show when we saw it. 
Yes. Did we get anything open up there? No. I have a feeling we're going to have to present some evidence at some point to these people, but... What? I don't... Oh. Let's go back to the law offices. December 28th, Wright & Co. Law Offices. Alright. We've got lots of things we have to look into. No time for slacking. Let's get going. Okay. What's the matter? You seem down. Maximilian Galactica. Who would have guessed he was Country Bumpkin? What to do? So now, what do we do? Hmm, there's still lots of things we can do. Go to the scene of the crime, talk to witnesses, gather evidence. Yeah, I guess you're right. Still don't even know what happened in the first place. Any ideas? I don't have enough information to make a case yet. I could have sworn I've heard that before. Well, we never have enough information. Just admit it, you don't have a clue what happened. Neither do we. Anything else? Maybe that's related. No. I was thinking that if she bought that poster, then maybe that was relevant. Uh, detention center? Oh, nothing. I still need that, and I haven't got enough information to do anything with that, so... Let's go back to the circus. And let's go back into the big top. Hmm... Let's go see about presenting stuff to... Gumshoe here. Nothing new to you. Okay, so let's present that and see what we get. You know, I can't tell you two anything about the evidence we have gathered. Stingy. Stingy? When you put it so bluntly, it kind of hurts my feelings, pal. Okay, we'll try the profiles then. I don't think we're going to have anything with Maya, so let's start with Max and then maybe Regina and Russell. It looks like Max is the most unpopular guy in the circus tent. You know what they say, a bad attitude follows you everywhere. Hmm. He's a bit arrogant, but he didn't seem that bad. But just because someone has a bad attitude doesn't make them a criminal. It's not just his attitude. I've got proof, pal. Oh. Huh. He left something at the scene of the crime. One of his magician's trademarks. An incredibly well-made silk hat. Well, it does have very classy decorative elements. Silk hat added to the court record. Max uses a cloak, silk hat, and white roses as his signature symbols. Pretty mundane, aren't they? Who cares if they're mundane? At least they are easy to understand. I must have hit a nerve. That's what he said. Who said? The eyewitness. Eh? Just tell us about the eyewitness. Well, I still want to present the other stuff first. I've got an affidavit from most of the performers at this circus. They are certainly a strange bunch of characters. You don't say. Well, not stranger than you, I suppose. That was cold. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I was just messing around. I've got enough of it. Oh, okay. So it's like, that's that's just the same. Alright, alright, so maybe now... Aha! Um, so about the eyewitness. <laughs> oh, you know I'm not going to tell you about that. But... That's the prosecution's trump card. Hmm... Oh, well... Oh, I just remembered. What? I forgot to mention that you two are barred from entering that lodging house. Why is that? Oh, no reason. Just something I remember to tell you. Why? Must be because that's where the eyewitness is. Let's check it out. Don't you dare, pal. Can I go there now? Mo's room. 